Hey, hey, everyone, come on in. My name is Tiara Chardé. I have a message for you. If you are returning, welcome, welcome back. If you are new, welcome in. I am a spiritual mentor, ordained minister, priestess, oracle author, and CEO and founder of the Pussy Portal program. We are enrolling right now. We start February 22nd, and I basically teach you how to be a badass priestess and psychic as hell. Not quite like me, but absolutely like you and pulling your purpose to the forefront, okay? So I have a message, y'all, and I, I kept getting this, y'all. I kept getting this, and I was going back and forth with it. Like, I don't really want to dwell on this. I don't want to talk about this too much, but this this is somebody's story, and you're needing to know what's going on so you know how to navigate this, this journey, okay? I don't want you to fall for the okie doke. I don't want you to be caught slipping out here. And I really want you to activate and be all that you are meant to be in this life so that you can elevate and so that I can see you when I want to see you when, honey, okay? So you have somebody around you that literally hates you as much as they love you. Someone hates you just as much as they love you. And I really feel like they love you a lot. Okay, so this could pertain to many different areas of your life. But um, what I was getting for some of you is that there is an ex or a lover or an old friend, right? There's, there's some sort of, um, there's something past about it. Maybe you cut this person off. Maybe they cut you off. Uh, maybe there's been a separation of some kind. Whatever happened um, in your situation, this person feels like you wronged them and yet they can't help but notice how amazing you are and just how beautiful or handsome you are. There's something like kind of interesting about it. It's almost giving me Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde vibes, right? Because on one hand, they're so in love. They're truly in love and they could have told their family or their friends about you or they mention you or they always think about you. Maybe they dream about you even. Um, you know, they really love you, but on the other hand, they hate you so much. So I feel like you may have, you may have rejected someone. You might have fired someone I just heard. Um, you turned down a date or you discontinued um, access with this person. There's something there. There's an element there, but this person is, is like, they don't, they don't like you, but they love you. So it's so strange. Um, for many of you, this person could have been in love with you, but when they realized that it wasn't mutual, then it turned into loathing. And for some of you, there is somebody out there who always has something to say to you or about you, but they're really in love. So take what resonates, y'all. Don't make this story fit if it's not your story. Like I said, this is, you know, what's going on in someone's life. But the, if this is not you, then I don't get paranoid over this message, okay? Don't stop assigning messages to you if it ain't about you. Is <laughs> what it is, right? But somebody out there, it's like they talk about you behind your back or they they pretend to not like you. They always want to fight you or nitpick or argue with you or say what it is that you're not doing or what you should be doing and you could be doing. But on the inside, this person is like melting inside. Like they are like, I heard Bleed in Love, the song, keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding in love. Like somebody is bleeding love for you and I don't know. It's like they can't take it almost. This person is like overwhelmed with love. And this could be various people because I feel like you a hot item in these streets, okay? Don't get it twisted. I tell y'all all the time, the people who tune into my channel, y'all fine as hell. You smart, you're spiritual, you're accomplished, you're creative, you could dress. You a hot item, baby. I need you to believe it. So somebody like, they're just in love with you and they nitpick or they cause problems in your life. And it's really not true. It's really not true. And for others of you, this could be like um, a family member, right? Because that totally makes sense. A family member is literally wired and trained to love you. They're trained to love you. Like, oh my, you're family, bro. Like, we literally, 
you know, you family, sis. Like, we literally grew up in the same house or cousin or auntie or whatever the dynamic is. Um, but this this person hates you. I'm so sorry if this hurts your feelings. But I feel like many of you who tune in, this is these messages are like confirmation and clarity and they just give you further insight. So you you know. Somebody is is told that they should love you, that they should treat you kindly, that they should have compassion for you and be there for you in your time of need. And so they express that. For some of you, they express that type of love. But on the inside, they're very envious of you. They're very spiteful and hateful towards you. And they could be using spell work towards you. I'm going to keep it a buck always with you, right? They could be throwing evil eye and all sorts of things, spell work, hexes, and curses on you. For many of you, you're spiritual workers. You, you out here, you know, liberating people and helping them heal generational curses. And you got family packing on curses on you. <laughs> so now you got to keep on healing these curses that they're putting back on the family. So, so some of y'all are really going through that, okay? Like, but I'm, I was getting that the divine um, is protecting you. From this energy protecting you from this evil eye this spell work it's being returned to sender um you know i posted on facebook that a lot of times i don't return negative energy to, to sender i transmute it and i take it back into me honey replenish my energy because i'm tired <laughs> y'all throw a negative energy all the time i don't want to return it to sender i need it for myself okay so many of you you're gonna start doing that but you know you do have people around you who are like they're secretly jealous of you. They're secretly jealous of you. So if this is on your job, you have that colleague that really smiles in your face. Some of you have someone who smiles in your face and key keys and takes you out to lunch and maybe bought you a card on your birthday. They probably did a lot of, you know, kind things to you. They held the door open at work, but they hate you. And every chance they get, they undermine you or they sabotage you in some way or they try to take credit for your work or something like that. Somebody around you is simultaneously loving up on you but also trying to dim your light and at the same time, like, slandering you. Y'all, it's, it's this energy is really deep, right? And I want to get off it. But <laughs> somebody, somebody really needs this, okay? Somebody's slandering your name. They're gossiping about you. They're telling people all sorts of things about you. But secretly, they love you, though. They admire you. Your work ethic is amazing. How you look is amazing. How you present yourself. You carry yourself. You're not petty like them or like other people. And they inherently think that, you know, you, you think you're better. Some of you, you are. I mean... You are. The divine chose you. You were selected for a particular work. So it's kind of like, I don't, you know, whoever resonates with this also, don't explain yourself to people who have it out for you. They just have it out for you. Don't explain yourself to them. They want to trip you up. They, they need any reason. All the reasons are reason enough to launch warfare against you. So don't even try to explain yourself. Don't try to um cover things up and act like you know don't don't fake it for them okay uh, also well no i mean hmm. yeah we don't, we don't we don't really need um anything else so like just be mindful you all also you have somebody around you that's really like obsessive you have some people who are interested in you because it and it's of a high vibration. You have people who are interested in you and they are of a high vibration. Their thoughts towards you are high vibe. But you have some people who are obsessed with you. And it, there's various levels. Like, I could be obsessed with a guru on YouTube and I watch all of his freaking videos and take notes because it's like, oh my God, information. Yes, give it to me, right? There's that. And for some, they're obsessed with you. Like, they always got to see what you post. They always have to check your stories. They're hiding behind different accounts to check your stories. They're messaging you on different accounts. They're doing this. They're obsessed. You're all that they think about. They go to your website. They go to your videos. They go through your phone for some of you. They're always driving by your house. They're, like, 
somebody's very obsessed with you. You also have some people who are like, y'all just trying to like really like find you and do things. Like somebody is kind of warped. Somebody is like they're after you for revenge, for whatever, but they're also so in love, like toxically in love. So this is like a snapped type of person, a snapped type of energy, y'all. You know, I hate to report to you, but for many, this is the confirmation that you really needed to get your ass somewhere else, okay? Yes, please do. Relocation has been coming up quite a bit, and many of you, you're in more serious situations than others, but you do have someone who's very, for some of you, right? Again, take what resonates. You do have someone who is very unstable, who has a love-hate fixation for you, my love, okay? So, let me see, was anything else coming in? There's, you know, protect yourself, protect your energy, call your energy back to you. Definitely keep calling your energy back to you. Keep sending that energy back that, that you feel, or like I said, if you know how to transmute energy, effectively then do that and let it replenish you but for some you know like i said you're needing to distance yourself if this is a family member you're needing to distance yourself and again the love hate thing comes really like there's a lot of energies attached to that message because somebody loves you like i said they love you as family but then there's a warpedness to it. Somebody could also be in love with their family and they hate themselves for it. And then they project that hate onto you. Wow, spirit, that's deep. That's deep. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. But that's somebody's story, okay? So, you know, if you resonate with this message, you can leave a comment. Absolutely give this video a thumbs up because I really feel... This message is meant for a lot of people and they need to see it. And when you give the video a thumbs up, more people see it. Um, if you need more clarity in your situation, this is a very like, the energy of it is just kind of like, ugh. it's repulsed, like I'm repulsed inside by it. That's how I know it's a very strange energy. Like this could be a friend of me too. Like you have a friend, man or woman, it doesn't matter. They're literally obsessed obsessed with you like this is giving me single white female vibes y'all I've been talking about this movie for years please watch the movie single white female okay because it's giving me that vibes here um yeah for some of you you have a, a friend right now or you have an ex-friend it's like they ended things with you maybe on bad terms but it was kind of like all the guys, they were really in love with you and it's like they couldn't separate it. They were really obsessive about you and they couldn't separate their emotions and they, they just got caught up and then they started projecting as if it was you and it's just all this stuff. Somebody really needs to um, check on their mental health and I say that with love, right? Mental illness is very real. Um, therapy is amazing, right? Somebody needs a therapist. Somebody needs an evaluation because something is not really um, wired properly, and for various reasons, I'm getting for very, I'm getting many different reasons why that is with this person. But this is uh, this is about you and your clarity and your safety as well. So be mindful. You know, pay attention to the people around you. And like I said, whoever resonates with this message, you resonate with this message because it's confirmation for you. Others of you who may tune in, don't start thinking somebody is after you and all that other stuff and think that the message is for you and now you're paranoid about your relationships and you have great relationships. Okay, don't take any messages that don't belong to you, right? But for those who this message is for, you're needing to be mindful of your surroundings and the people that you are around. You have somebody really unstable around you, okay? And then for a few others, like I said, this is just a, like a, a frenemy at work. And it's not that deep, but it's, it's still an annoyance. It's still something that you're having to guard your energy against and cleanse when you get home and all that other stuff, okay? So that is the message for y'all. If this resonates, baby, leave a comment, like the video. Um, if you need something specific to your situation, 
like I was saying before, make sure you click on the link in the description box. We still have reading specials. We still have birth, birth chart specials going on. And if you just be in spiritual warfare because you know you're an oracle, you know you're a priestess, then get in on the Pussy Portal program. We're enrolling right now. We literally start February 22nd. We go into all of this stuff because this is the life of a priestess. You are the light. You are meant to liberate souls. So you got a lot of different energies coming at you and they want you to stop. That's what it is. So I created a school where I teach you how to be all that you're meant to be in this life and protect yourself and build a legacy. And if you are a spiritual entre entrepreneur to launch your business and all of these things, we provide you with the tools and the support on how to do so. So tap in my love, tap in. And you know, for my brothers as well, you may be one of my beloved brothers and you're listening to this. Look brother, <laughs> okay. Protect your energy cause they're out here. All right. And many of you, you're kings, you have whole empires or families right now, or you're, you're ascending to that level. Please protect your energy because some of you see, you have, a, you have someone who's a little touched in the mind around you right now. You could be trying to separate from this person. All right, that's for my brothers, but men or women, it doesn't matter. You could really be trying to separate from this person and they're making it hard. Some of y'all, wait a minute. Some of y'all have a twin flame that you're trying to get to, but you have someone who's kind of psychotic around you. And some of you are trying to be lighthearted. If you are a man and this is happening to you, you're trying to be lighthearted because you're dealing with a little woman and you're like, oh my God, she's a woman. Sir, <laughs> she's, she's, she's touched in the mind, sir. You're going to have to press charges. You're going to have to call somebody, call the police. All right, call them. Somebody's not wanting to report their partner or their spouse or their ex because they're like, no, she's a woman. I don't want to do that to her. Sir, please report that woman. Okay, look, the energy, I don't like this energy. I'm going to get up out of it, y'all, again. <sighs> Click on the links in the description box to contact me. Protect yourself, my love, and I'll also send you protection, light, and love as well. And also, if you need them warrior angels, call on the warrior angels, okay? They love you, and I love you too. I'll see you on the next message. Peace and love.